So normally we put speaker drivers inside a cabinet to make a loudspeaker, but why do we do that in the first place? That's a very interesting topic that, uh, that we can dive into. So essentially Mike is asking, what would happen if a speaker driver did not have a cabinet? So when you have the speaker driver, it is playing sound forward, but it's also playing as much sound backwards. Depending on the diameter of the woofer, the lower frequencies will cancel out the sound from the front. So when that happens, uh, you are getting lower output below a certain frequency, and we don't want that. We want the sound output to be the same across all frequencies. So what you could do is put the speaker driver inside a baffle, uh, put it inside of a large plate, so that the sound can't reach the front of the speaker. And the larger this plate is, the lower in frequency you are blocking from the back to the front. So essentially, if you make this plate large enough, you actually don't need the cabinet. You have created what's called an open baffle speaker. So this is a baffle that is so large that the sound from the back does not reach the front. The problem with that is it takes up a lot of space in your listening room. So most people don't really want to do that. So typically we wrap this baffle around to create a, ba a cabinet. You have now created a box of air that the driver now needs to push against when it's playing the music. So the volume of that space has a big effect on the actual sound of the driver. So this becomes the whole conundrum of designing a speaker cabinet that works optimally with this particular driver. So that brings us down a long path on speaker cabinets, but that's for another video. We do have some videos where we talk about ports in speaker cabinets that you can find here.